Take a look at it. You know, in this case, uh, with uh, all the noise that was in that video from being shot in near darkness, uh, you know, the lower resolution versions of it actually were m more easily discernible. Uh, at least they were to me anyway. Um, so, you know, I, I believe that I can see the face and a very, very large nose uh, almost pressed against the lens. Uh, but that's what I see, uh, you know. Uh, what do you see? Anyway, thank you for your time. The Gable film is a striking piece of evidence that is as puzzling as it is complex. It turned up in a box of odds and ends at an estate sale in 2004. The film was in extremely degraded condition when it was delivered to Steve Cook in 2006. 
Our film experts believe the state of the film shows it may have spent several years outdoors, exposed to the weather. The film itself is standard 8mm Kodachrome, from stock manufactured in the early 1970s. It was shot with a Bell & Howell autoload camera circa 1966, as seen here reflected in a mirror during one sequence. The snowmobiles at the beginning of the film are 1960s and 1970s vintage. The truck shown is a 1967 Ford. It has significant rust on the left front fender. These elements bring us to the conclusion the film was probably shot in the mid to late 1970s. To enhance the film, our experts reproduced each individual frame using state-of-the-art equipment. This resulted in over 3,000 individual images. Each image was then pixel enhanced and color corrected using extreme care not to add or subtract anything from the original context. The three and a half minute film is largely basic home movie material. About two thirds of the way through, the camera perspective moves to the inside of a moving vehicle. As the camera person pans the roadside, it suddenly picks up an animal moving across the field. For the next 23 seconds, a chase ensues through woods and fields. Then the camera spots the animal once again, standing on a ridge about 150 feet away. For the first few seconds, the creature and cameraman study each other. Then suddenly the creature charges. The cameraman attempts to flee, but his speed is no match for the predator chasing him. Our first impression of the Gable film was that it was a hoax, an amateur, scary movie project that turned out better than expected. The enhanced version of the film brought out detail not visible in the original, however, and forced us to reevaluate our position. Watch closely and you'll understand why. The creature begins his charge by moving sideways in a commando style crawl. At one point, a very human looking leg and foot appear in the right side of the frame. Then, the creature makes a sharp left turn. Two things stand out here. Its body seems to expand rapidly, changing into a near gorilla shape. But the strangest aspect is the creature's right rear leg, which seems to actually change shape and structure. In this frame, it appears as a feeble L shape, bent awkwardly inward. And just a few frames later, it looks precisely like a dog's leg. As the creature accelerates forward, he lunges powerfully, leaving the ground with all four feet. We've challenged several very athletic people to attempt to run on their hands and knees and leap in this fashion. None could reproduce this movement. We can only speculate what happened next. Does the Gable film or any of the evidence shown in this documentary prove the existence of a half-man, half-dog creature? They do not.